allegations of child labor are prompting both state and Cedar Rapids leaders to review more than $20 million in incentives for a major development project. TWG Development is overseeing the Banjo Block development in Cedar Rapids. This is an aerial look. It'll eventually house 224 apartments near the downtown library, but it's now subject to investigations of labor law violations, including using underage kids on the construction site. KCRG TV 9's Ethan Stein shows us why. Nicole, it really just boils down to the photo behind me. Behind me. Lawmakers say they saw this employee on a tour of the work site. They believe he's a child. And those lawmakers, along with state officials, are asking for an investigation into a company we found has been cited for child labor laws in the past. This is footage from a hidden camera, which a local contractor's union used to document the conditions at the Banjo Block construction site. This was like one of the worst that I've ever, ever been to. And it has no shortage of concerns over the construction project receiving more than $20 million in taxpayer incentives. There was nails sticking out of wood all over the place. Um, there was uh, pipes laying all over. Their biggest concern? This photo. There was one that looked real young. He looked like he was my son's 11. He looked like, like my son's age. Elected officials, the city of Cedar Rapids, the Iowa Economic Development Authority, and Iowa Finance Authority have all asked OSHA to investigate if the employee was underage. Documents from the Indiana Department of Labor show the developer broke Indiana's child labor laws in 2018. Both the Department of Labor and the city of Indianapolis also cited the company after investigations in to wage theft allegations. Union officials believe the company is not paying workers in Cedar Rapids the right amount either. An investigation could take months. An official with the Iowa Workforce Development says investigations into workers being misclassified can take about 10 weeks because it needs time to review, investigate, ask questions of the employer, and send out questionnaires to workers. Lynn County Attorney Nick Maybank says it's challenging to investigate these accusations because law enforcement needs a whistleblower who may often be the exploited person relying on the job. Resources are thin. Victims may already be gone by the time investigators respond, and there is no documentation. All while construction continues on a project getting millions of taxpayer support. We've also reached out to the development company in Iowa Ocean, have not received a response yet. This also comes at a time the Iowa legislature is moving to loosen child labor laws. Republicans point to benefits for employers and more freedoms for teenagers who want to work. But the top lawyer for the U.S. Department of Labor said that's not worth noting the wider dangers for kids, calling Iowa's bill irresponsible. In studio, Ethan Stein, KCRG TV 9 News. Thank you.